there. <laughs> it's so good to see you. You're just in time. Why don't you sign in first? If you have already, just pick your name from the list. Welcome to the Blue House. Hello from the small mouse. Things to do. Fun for you. Howdy from the big bear. Want some fun? Here's where. Just for you. All is new in the house of blue. Lots of room at our house. Catch the moon at our house. Kitchen's here. Bathroom's there. Attic full of stuff here. Pillows full of cloth here. For you. Just for you. In the house of blue. Oh! <laughs> Hi there! <laughs> Wait a minute. What's that smell? Smells like... Ooh, berries! Hmm? <gasps> it's you! Ooh, have you been walking through a field? Because you smell just like freshly picked berries. Ah, I love that smell. It reminds me of triple berry pie. Or maybe you smell this good all the time. <laughs> well, come on in. Speaking of triple berry pie. <gasps> Did we hear someone say triple berry pie? Triple berry pie is delicious. Whoa. We love triple berry pie. I love the way triple berry pie feels all warm and crunchy in my mouth. And triple berry pie looks so great. <laughs> Almost as great as cheese. <laughs> Almost. Triple berry pie. No kidding what to see. Mm, triple berry pie. We know what foods we like by the way they taste. We know our friends by sight and by hearing their voices. When we smell or touch a flower, we can tell how beautiful it is. The five senses of taste, sight, hearing, smell, and touch are how we discover things about ourselves and our world. I've got my eyes to look around, a tongue to taste my meal, a nose for smell and ears for sound, a body that can feel. I've got five senses to bring me the world, so it makes sense to me. I've got five senses and a world I love to hear and smell and feel and taste and see. Smell a berry pie and feel that crunchy crust. I hear the door, I see that you've stopped by. You wanna taste, you must. Cause you've got five senses to take it all in, whatever it might be. You've got five senses and one big world to hear and smell and feel and taste and see. Whoa! Yep, there's nothing better for the senses than triple berry pie. Mm -hmm. Hey, would you like to make some together? Hey, Bear! Oh, and you too! Come with us to make Pip and Pop's famous clam dip. It tastes delicious! <laughs> I'm going to build a house for Snow Bear as a surprise. Do you want to help me? Oh, Bear, you too. Come on. We need three of my favorite song. Excuse me, Bear. <laughs> Hi, I'm redecorating my mouse hole. Would you like to help? So, what do you want to do? All right. Let's go to the otter pond. Phew, I'm out of breath. How'd you get here so quickly? 
You're pretty fast. <laughs> Today is a perfect day for a picnic, don't you think? Ah, yes. We'll be outside. <sighs> Smelling the flowers, the trees, and the honey the bees make. <laughs> hey, let's make it a special type of picnic. A pie picnic. Mm -hmm. We'll surprise all our friends. I just know the sweet smell of triple berry pie will bring everyone from the big blue house out here to the pond. One of the great things about triple berry pie is that every time you make it, you can add something different that makes it smell a little different. To make it smell sweet, we can add honey. Of course, strawberry jam is good too. So is applesauce. Well, what would you like? Spice is always nice. Spices like cinnamon or nutmeg or cloves make triple berry pie triple delicious. Mmm, the best part is the topping. Ah, yes, like butterscotch, or there's always chocolate syrup, or even marshmallow cream around the house. Ah, yes, there sure are a lot of great choices. Now, since this is your special pie, you can help me find all the ingredients for it. Hmm. I wonder if my herb and spice garden inside would have what we need. Hmm. I wonder if my herb and spice garden inside would have what we need. <laughs> Don't tell Pip you saw me. My bee friends stay busy making lots of honey for this bear to eat. Big, plump, juicy berries taste so good, especially in my famous triple berry pancakes and, of course, my triple berry pie. Over here, in the drawer, there's all kinds of tasty treats! Brr, it's cold inside my fridge, but that way my string beans stay fresh and crunchy. Brr. Mm, you just picked up some big blue house berries. We call them that because they're blue and are as big as a house. Okay, maybe not that big, but they sure taste like it. We'll need six bunches of berries for the pie. Look out for them. Food! We love food! <laughs> and there's two of everything. Just like us. Let's help Bear match food! Onion, potato chips, pickle, potato chips, potato chips, potato chips. It's a match. You are very good at this. Chili peppers, onion, onion, onion. It's a match. You are very good at this. Pickle. Chili peppers. Pickle. Pickle. Wow, it's a match. Hey, look, Pop, another match. Whoa, you are a matchless matcher. <laughs> Chili peppers. Chili peppers. Wow, it's a match. Wow, you did so well. You got that 
Right, Pip? Yeah. Let's play again! Hey, I got an idea, Pop. What, Pip? Let's match things to kind of, you know, taste like each other. Oh, I get it. Like, yeah. uh, lemons. And, and, uh, grapefruit. Ooh. They're both sour. <laughs> Cupcake. Hot sauce. Hard candy. Ground pepper. Coconut. Coffee beans. Ew. That's what I call bitter. Yuck. Hard candy. Cupcake. Those two are so sweet together. Pineapple. Lime. Those two are sour. Lots of things come in pairs. Like a Ooh, good one. Thank you. Ground pepper. Hot sauce. Those two are spicy. Hey, Pop, do you know how to make a banana split? No. How? Give it some legs! <laughs> <laughs> legs, because it yeah, leaves. Yeah, you get that. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, hey, Pip! Yeah, Pop? Now, let's match things that are both made from the same food. Oh, yeah, like, like, um, french fries? Oh, and, uh, <gasps> potato salad. Mm. They're both made with potatoes! <laughs> <laughs> Applesauce, strawberry shortcake, apple pie, applesauce. If you picked some apples from an apple tree, you can make these. French fries, potato chips. Did you know both were made from potatoes? Relish, strawberry jam. Strawberry shortcake. Strawberry jam. You can tell just from the name that they both have strawberries. Whoa! We bow to you! Oh, great match, master! Oh! <laughs> Pickle. Relish. Relish comes from chopped up pickles. Whoa! I feel like a box of popcorn. That's funny. You don't look like a box of popcorn. <laughs> oh, great gobs of Gouda! My cheese salad is completely dark! Uh, can you help me get a snack? I've got the light, you give me the right directions, and the cheese will be ours! <laughs> hey, do you see those spots over there? You know, those glowy bright spots? Well, those are light switches, and <laughs> if you turn them on, we'll see better. Hey, I can see! Oh, I think that light's going to make our cheese adventure much easier. Well, come on! Let me at him! Hey! There's blue in my 
my cheese. <laughs> I guess that's why they call it blue cheese. Get it? Oh, blue cheese? Oh, that's rich. Try some. Come on, I smell more cheese. Hungry Mouse coming through. Don't forget to turn on the glowy spots so we can see. I can see, I can see. Oh, it all looks marvelous. Mm, we're getting closer. Thanks, <laughs> it's much easier to see. Okay, little cheesy treasure, I'm coming to get you. Amazing! Oh, I can taste that cheese now! Hey, I can see! Oh, I think that light's going to make our cheese adventure much easier! Oh, come on! Cheese prize is ours! Eureka! <laughs> oh, great gobs of gouda! My golden friend! Try some? I smell more cheese! Hungry Mouse coming through! Don't forget to turn on the glowy spots so we can see! Don't forget to turn on the glowy spots so we can see! When something is too hot to hold in your hands, I use a pot holder. Hmm, I wonder if my herb and spice garden inside would have what we need. Just pick the room you want to visit, and you'll go right there. An umbrella keeps my fur nice and dry when I go out in the rain. Use one and you'll stay dry too. It's great to have a nice coat, or a fur coat if you're bare, to keep you nice and warm on a cold day. I've got my eyes to look around, a tongue to hey, have you been to a horse race? Their hooves pound the ground as they run. Yeehaw! Huh? Oh, Joe. What are you doing? Oh, hi, Bear. Hmm, I wonder. I wonder if Ojo has something we need for the pie. Like in this bowl? Right. That's called a mortar. And the thing that looks like a long, thin stone is a pestle. Pick it up and use it to grind the spice into a powder. Pick up the pestle. Okay, the spice is all powdery now. Use the spoon to scoop out the powder. Now take the powder and put it in the jar. Look, now we have a jar of spice. Nutmeg smells best when you sprinkle it on the dessert with whipped cream. I love stories. That's why I have all these books. Do you have a favorite book? My 
clock tells me the time, and it's almost snack time. Mm. <laughs> Pip is looking for me. Don't tell him I'm here. It'll be our secret. and I are playing hide and seek. Don't tell him I'm here. <laughs> See? It's a globe of the world. I've been thinking about all the places you can live and all the things you can be. That sounds like a good game of pretend, Ojo. Hey, yeah, Bear. I love to pretend. Do you? Okay, come on. We can pretend to be anything and go anywhere we want to. We're world explorers! Yeah, Ojo, I can see it now. Like, if you were a fish. Hey, yeah, come on, let's pretend we're fish. Your skin would be all covered with scales. But if we want to, we could be a fish with fur. Oh, <laughs> or even with feathers. What do you think it would feel like to be a fish with feathers? What do you think? What kind of fish would you be? <laughs> I'd be a furry fish. We'd be all fluffy and cuddly. You'd make a good pet, I bet. We'd live in a nice, cozy house. But on a cold day, we would have to find some way to get warm. A fire would be nice, but don't get too close. Hey, Bear. <laughs> we could get warm by lying in the sunshine or, um, chasing a ball. What would you do to get warm if you were cold? Running and having fun is a great way to warm up. Gee, you look kind of hot. You're sweating. This sounds like a good time for a fan to cool you off. Would you like a cold drink? Or maybe a swim in the pond? What do you like to do to cool down when you're hot? That drink tastes nice and cold and cools you right off when you feel hot. Now we feel happy. Not too cold and not too hot. Hey, do you want to play pretend with me again? All you have to do is click on the globe. Great idea, Ojo. I can see it now. You could fly to faraway places if... <laughs> We're birds! Let's be birds! That's a bird. What kind do you want to be? We could have fur, or feathers, or scales. I wonder how it would feel to be a bird with fur. Soft? Warm? Hmm. What do you think? What sort of bird do you want to be? Wow, neat! A scaly bird! We'd have slick, slippery skin. I can see it now. You could live underwater and be great swimmers and swim to Ojo Island. Ooh, we're wet all over. Pip and Pop would like this pretend. Ooh, I love to swim. But I love to do other things too. Like, um, be an acrobat. If you're going to do flips like an acrobat, You'll need someplace soft to land in, like sand. Ooh, or maybe we'd rather flip on the grass, or um, even on a pile of seaweed. So, where would you like to play? On a heap of seaweed. That's a good choice. It's nice and bouncy. <laughs> Gee, this is fun. Oh, but hey, you look like you have to stop. You do? Why? Um, bear? It, it looks like someone has an itchy back. Well, that sounds like a problem for a bear. You need something to scratch it on, like underwater coral. Or we could scratch an itch with an anchor. <laughs> or even an oyster shell. Hmm. What do you want to scratch that itch with? Ooh, an anchor. You could scratch your itch on the hard edge. <sighs> That's better. Now it's time to flip and roll and be happy. Happiness is a feeling too. 
Hey, do you want to play pretend with me again? All you have to do is click on the goodbye. Come back and we'll play pretend again. We can play it any time you want to. You just picked up some big blue house berries. We call them that because they're blue and are as big as... Ooh, I love to wiggle my toes on a nice soft rug. <laughs> Luna red berries only grow when there's a full moon. But you can eat them any time. This hanging lamp lights my way. That way I don't trip on the stairs when I go up to see Luna at night. That picture on the easel smells interesting. Ooh, it smells sort of sweet, actually. Hey, wait a minute. That paint doesn't look like paint. It looks like... I can see that tree, though, and it's a very nice painting. But... Where did you get the paint? The kitchen. Found it in the kitchen. <laughs> Trilo says he found the paint in the kitchen. Maybe you should take a closer look. Hey, that's not white paint. It's marshmallow cream. Huh. That smells like butterscotch. Huh, that smells like butterscotch. Funny, that paint smells like... Hey, that's not paint. It's chocolate syrup. You found our topping for the pie. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Sorry, dear. <laughs> Oh, that's okay, Trilo. Your food painting is beautiful and smells great, too. Stuffed animals are so cuddly and soft, it feels good to hug one. Do you have a favorite stuffed animal? Dinosaurs. They were big and loud. In fact, they were very big and very, very loud. <laughs> I'm still hiding from Pip. Shh. <laughs> you have two bunches of those berries already.
By changing the top, middle, and the bottom of each toy, you can make new toys and new sounds. <laughs> That horn will come in handy if the horse gets in a traffic jam. Ah, uh, the toilet. <laughs> it makes the funniest sound when you flush. Luna red berries only grow when there's a full moon, but you can eat them any time. After a nice warm bath, I like to get my fur nice and dry with a big, fluffy, clean towel. <laughs> At dinner, it's fun to close your eyes before you see your food and take a nice, Big sniff. <sighs> Can you guess what's for dinner without peeking? Try it. <laughs> I smell something warm and cuddly in my house. Oh, it's you! <sighs> mm. Now you try sniffing. What do you smell? Some smells tickle your nose and make you sneeze. Did you know when you sneeze, you can keep your eyes open? See? At dinner, it's fun to... This bear loves to soak in a nice warm bubble bath. How about you? You have two bunches of those berries already. I use this barrel to keep things in, like apples, water, and seeds. But sometimes they're good for drumming too. <laughs> Don't tell Pop you saw me. <laughs> Scales weigh things, like big old bears. Hey, how much do you weigh? Pip, you saw me! <laughs> wow! You just found some very rare green pond berries. They're rare because Pip and Pop usually eat them before anyone else can find them. Don't! My telescope makes the stars look very close.
clouds can make shapes like dragons or elephants. I once saw two clouds doing the cha-cha-cha. <laughs> Clouds can make shapes like... Oh, you can look through the glass of the door, but don't forget it's there, or you might walk through it and hurt yourself. I know that smell. It's applesauce. It made a great snack, and luckily, there's still some left. What a sweet smell. You found all the pie ingredients. But we'll also need pie dough, a rolling pin, a mixing bowl, and a pie cutter. Hmm. Maybe someone else in the big blue house knows where they are. We're making Pip and Pop's famous clam dip. <laughs> Come with us. We'll build Snow Bear's house with hard things and soft things and warm things and all kinds of other things, too. Let's go! <laughs> do you want to listen to favorite song? You want to hear it, too? I'm going to redecorate my mouse hole and make it more beautiful than ever! Ha, you can come, too! Come on! So, what do you want to do? Trilo loves music. In fact, he loves all sounds. He has very sensitive ears. Some people can hear a pin drop. Trilo can hear it while it's falling. A tape recorder can play so many sounds. Sounds we hear every day. So Trilo, will you play us your tape? Yeah, Trilo for Pedro song. Trilo's gonna play us his favorite song. <laughs> That's too bad, Trilo. I know that was your favorite tape, but... You know, there are other ways to make music. In fact, you can make music with things from around the house. What? 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 Well... Hey, why don't you pick some things for Trilo to make music with? First, we need something to keep the beat. Like, um... A tin can? A glass? Or pot. Which one do you like best? You have! You have Trilo! Yay! <laughs> yeah. And for an instrument, um, how about a flute? Or a guitar? Or a trumpet? Now, what do we have around the house that sings? Um, a rubber duck, a rubber frog, or a rubber cat? Good thinking, I mean, listening. <laughs> Trilo's gonna make some great music. I think Trilo could use your help finding the music items and making a song. Wow! You just found some very rare green pond berries. They're good job! You've collected all the berries we need to make a delicious triple berry pie. Mmm! I can taste it now. I know, and I know where the 
musical instrument is. And we'll tell you when you win Pop Says. <laughs> it's a game. See, we name something for you to pick up. But you only get it when we say Pop Says. Yeah, and if we don't say Pop, Pop Says, do not pick it up. When you get it right, well, five times in a row, we'll tell you where the musical instrument is. Ha! <laughs> Let's play! Pop says click on a shoe. Four more to go. Pop says click on a piggy bank. Three more. Pop says click on a clock. Only two more. Click on a ball. If we don't say Pop says, do not pick it up. Start over! Click on a clock. Four more to go. Click on a car room. <laughs> Three more. Click on a box of crayons. Only two more. Pop says click on a piggy bank. <laughs> Just one more. Pop says click on a teddy bear. <laughs> Play instrument. <laughs> Play on the musician. <laughs> you found it! Yay! <laughs> Pop says. Thanks for playing. Pop says. <laughs> My nice green potted plant makes me think of outside and nature. Those are our toys, but they're floating upside down. That's not the one we want. Try another one. That's not the one we want. Try another one. I use this barrel to keep... You have two bunches of those bears. Don't tell Pip. It's cold inside my fridge. You're back! All right! Let's find more, more pears. pears! Chili peppers. Cupcake. Garlic. Garlic. Wow, it's a match! Green apple. 
Green apple. It's a match. You are very good at this. Chili peppers. Chili peppers. It's a match. You are very good at this. I match you. You match me. That's because we're family. <laughs> Cupcake. Cupcake. Wow, it's a match. Hey, Pip. Yeah, Pop. What's a whale's favorite snack? Hmm, I don't know. A peanut butter and jelly fish sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Hey. Huh? Do you hear that? I wonder where it's coming from. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder what's going on in there. Listen closely and tap the same thing back. Listen closely and tap the same thing back. Listen closely and tap the same thing back. Hello, hello! Who is it? It's Bear and a friend. Well, why didn't you say so, Bear? <laughs> Boy, you sure are good at knocking out a beat. Do you want to borrow my... Homemade drum? Oh, drum! Drum, drum, dr 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 <laughs> Now it's time to make some music. Let's make a song for Trilo. I'll start humming, and you add sounds by choosing any item you found. Hey, you're a great musician. Let's listen to the music you made. <laughs> if you want to play your song for Trilo, click on the green button. If you want to make a new song, Click on the red button. Hmm. 
Hey, you're a great musician. Let's listen to the music you made. <laughs> If you want to play your song for Trilo, click on the green. Oh, bye, Trilo. <laughs> Isn't it amazing how you can find music everywhere? In the pond, in the living room, even here in the bedroom. Hey. Maybe this will help you make music on your own. This is the story of your adventure with Trilo. It's called Trilo's Song. Trilo needed help to make his own music. Trilo needed help to make his own music. You discovered a squeaky toy for him in the bathtub. It was awfully nice of Tutter to lend us his drum. You played the game with Pip and Pop so well that you found a musical instrument. Trilo jumped up and danced when he heard the music we made together. I put all the storybooks of your adventures in the big blue house right here on my bookshelf. Whenever you want to open one, just come on over and pick it out. There you are! Look what I found! It's a rolling pin! We could use it to make music, but... You know what it works best for? Making triple berry pie! Hey! Let's put it in your basket. Alright! The pie adventure continues! You found all the pie ingredients, but we'll also need pie dough, a rolling pin, a mixing bowl, and a pie cutter. Hmm. Maybe someone else in the big blue house knows where they are. We're making Pip and Pop's famous clam dip. <laughs> Come with us! We'll build Snow Bear's house with hard things and soft things and warm things and all kinds of other things, too. Let's go! Ah, excellent choice! To the mouse hole! Let's go! Okay, okay, that's close enough. What's going on, Tutter? Sorry, Bear. You can't see inside until all the redecorating work is done. <laughs> Um, could you excuse me for just a moment? <laughs> Sounds like Tutter is giving his mouse hole a whole new look. Redecorating is exciting. He'll have new colors and lights and fun things all over. So Tutter, how are you going to redecorate your mouse hole? I told you, Bear. It's a surprise. A surprise. <laughs> but I could use a little help. This place needs a paint job, a, a picture on the wall, and something to light everything up. Hmm, let's see. Paint. You could have a lot of different colors, hmm. like orange, green, or purple. What do you like? <gasps> wow, I like that one! And you said a picture? How about a picture of a bear? Bears are quite handsome, don't you think? Um... Or a picture of cheese, your favorite food. Hmm. You could even have a picture of the mouse hole, the place you like best of all. Oh, great good. There's so 
many choices, Bear! So many! Uh, hey, what do you think? And now for the lighting. Ah. Different kinds of light will make the mouse hole look different. Like a chandelier, mm -hmm. or a disco ball, huh? or maybe even a lava lamp. Thanks, you've made some great suggestions. Well, good luck, Tutter. What? What? Hold on! No, oh, I can't possibly find all this stuff by myself, man. I don't have time. No time. Hmm. Well, hey, maybe our friend can help you, Tutter. Can you find what Tutter needs? It's cold. When something is too hot to... See? It's a globe of the world. I've been thinking about places you can live and all the things you can be. That sounds like a good game of pretend, Ojo. Hey, yeah, Bear. I love to pretend. Do you? Okay, come on. We can pretend to be anything and go anywhere we want to. All right. I can see it now. <laughs> Let's be dogs, okay? What sort of dog would you like to be? We could have fur or feathers, or scales. Can you imagine what a dog with scales would feel like? What do you think? What kind of dog would you want to be? Oh, a dog with feathers. We'll be velvety to the touch. Wow, you could fly high in the sky with feathers. Ooh, can you feel the wind under your wings? Ooh, Bear, we've been flying so long, we're getting kind of tired. A rest sounds like a good idea. How about someplace like a rock? Oh, hey, o or we could rest in a tree, or maybe on top of a house. Hmm, where should we rest? A house makes a good resting place, up high where you and Ojo can feel the warm sunshine. These resting places, they all feel kind of hard, Bear. We want a nice soft spot so we can go to sleep. Like a haystack. Um, or maybe a pillow. <laughs> or even the belly of a bear. <laughs> Where do you want to go to sleep? <laughs> a bear's belly feels so furry and warm. That's my favorite place to take a nap. <sighs> Sleepy time. Now we're comfy and happy and ready to go right to sleep. Hey, do you want to play pretend with me again? Bye, come back and we'll play pretend again. We can play it any time you want to. It's a paint set. You know, you can mix together colors to make new ones. I bet you can make the color for Tutter's walls. Try adding two colors to an empty dish. Choose a color, then take it to an empty dish and drop it in. Then, add another color. Choose a color, then take it to an empty dish. You need to add two different colors to make a new one. That's a nice color, but it's not the one we need. So try again. You need to add two different colors to make a new one. Great! That matches the color we need for Tutter's walls. Oh, yeah. ah, that's the perfect color! Just perfect! I'm taking it back to my mouse hole right away! Let's go!
I've been listening for you to come back. I've been listening for you to come back. Oh! The colors of the gems reveal the code to the lock. Turning the dials on the lock will reveal different colors. Click on one and see. Wait a minute. What's that smell? It smells so good. Hmm? I think it's coming from over there. You have two buttons. Let's see what smells so good. Come on. Just pick a path and we'll sniff out clues together. I'll let you know if we're on the right path. Okay, we'll go straight ahead. Mmm, that smells a lot like wet boots on a rainy day. Hey, let's go find out what it is. Okay, we'll go straight ahead. Uh-oh, that smell smells a bit less, um, smelly. Sure, let's go back. Mmm, that smell smells awfully close. Great, let's go left. Ugh, I think someone left the garbage out. Sure, let's go back. You're getting closer. Okay. We'll go straight ahead. Ew, it smells like stinky cheese that way. Not even Tutter would like it. Okay, we'll go straight ahead. Phew! Hold your nose. Smells like a rotten egg. Great, let's go left. Achoo! Some smells tickle my nose. But that's not our smell. Great! Let's go left! Mmm! That smell smells awfully close. Great! Let's go left! It smells like we're on the right trail. Let's go right. Mmm! That smell smells awfully close. Okay, we'll go straight ahead. It smells like we're on the right trail. Let's go right. Ew, smelly. Sure, let's go back. Sure, let's go back. Achoo! Some smells tickle my nose, but that's not our smell. Sure, let's go back. Ew, it smells... Okay, we'll go straight ahead. You're getting closer. Okay, we'll go straight ahead. It smells like we're on the right trail. Let's go right. It smells like we're on the right trail. Okay, we'll go straight ahead. Hey, what's that smell? It smells like 
water puddles, and wet dirt. Mud! Bears just love mud. It's all wet and muddy and sticky. Want to borrow my nose for another scent search? Take a picture. I love that picture! <laughs> Boy, you're a great photographer! I'm taking it right inside! <laughs> Redecorating is so much fun! You can help Tutter fix up his mouse hole. You're really helping me out here. If you paint the wall, hang up the picture, and put the light in place, I'll show you my completely redecorated mouse hole. The best spot for the picture would be, uh, uh, let's see. Oh, I know, the center of the wall. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Picture perfect! Oh, 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 my sides! Now if you could just hang the light from the ceiling. Great! Oh, just great! Okay, now close your eyes. Well, Bia, you, you close your eyes too. <laughs> and I'll turn out the old lights and turn on the new ones. <laughs> It sure is a great look, Tutter. The light is perfect for dancing. Well, I gotta go. Thanks for stopping by, Bear. Now that my mouse hole is all fixed up, I am going to stay in it forever. <laughs> That's right. It's so perfect that I'm never going to have to leave it again. Well, goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, Bear. Goodbye forever. <laughs> oh, uh, well, goodbye, Tutter. Gee. I'll miss seeing Tutter around the big blue house. I'll miss seeing his little blue ears wiggle and his little tail twitch and seeing his face light up when he says, cheese. Oh, oh, Bear, what was I thinking? I can't stay in here forever, no way. Gee whiz, that was the longest five seconds of my life. I mean, I, I like the way my mouse hole looks and everything, but I like to be out in the real world with my friends, best of all. Aw, I'm so glad you're back, Tutter. I'd really miss having a good friend like you around. <sighs> Bye, dear. Bye, Tutter. No matter how nice your things are, they're never as nice as the people or mice you care about. Now, here's something for you to look at. Here's a storybook about your adventure with Tutter. It's called Mouse Hole Beautiful. Tutter asked you for ideas on how to decorate his mouse hole. You mixed paints to create a whole new color. The picture you took in the kitchen was terrific! The light inside the trunk was perfect for a mouse's hole. Tutter loved all the things you found for his mouse hole.
Aha! Yes! Hey there! Back again? Great! I saw a bowl that would be perfect for making triple berry pie. And you know what? Your basket looks like the perfect place to keep it in. Here! I smell a pie in the making. You found all the pie ingredients. But we'll also need pie dough, a rolling pin, a mixing bowl, and a pie cutter. Hmm. Maybe someone else in the big blue house knows where they are. We're making Pip and Pop's famous clam dip. <laughs> Come with us. <laughs> We'll build Snow Bear's house with hard things, and soft things, and warm things, and all kinds of other things, too. Let's go! So... All right! To the kitchen! Yeah. I'm hungry, too. Pip and Pop love clam dip because they like the way it tastes on their tongues. That's what you use to taste with. Your tongue. But you probably already knew that. I wonder what tasty treats Pip and Pop will put in the bowl to make their famous clam dip. I can't wait to taste Pip and Pop's famous clam dip. So mm -hmm. what are you going to put in it? Oh, things everybody likes to make the best clam dip ever! Yes, sir. Something sweet. Something salty. And of course, no clam dip would be complete without something, something sour. Wow, you sure thought of a lot of different tastes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Bear... We have a problem. Yeah, we don't know what will make it sweet or salty or, or sour. sour. Hmm, let's see. Hmm. Well, green apples are sour. So is a lemon and a white grapefruit. Boy, oh. those really are sour, Bear. Hmm. Oh, hey, could, could you, you choose one for us? Whoa! Uh, get ready to pucker up, Pop! Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, what tastes sweet? <sighs> Cupcakes, or cookies, or maybe even a chocolate cake. Whoa, those all sound good, Bear. <laughs> what, what do you think? When I think of salty, I think of things like potato chips, or pretzels, or crackers. Whoa, yeah! Wow. They're as salty as uh, um, uh, uh, a clam at the bottom of the sea! <laughs> you did a good job picking things for Pip and Pop. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now we know what to put in our clam Definitely. Yeah. <gasps> but, but Bear! Well, we, we have another have problem! Yeah, we don't know where to find them! Hey, why don't you help Pip and Pop find what they need? I wonder why this trail of cracker crumbs is heading right for Tutter's mouse hole. Tutter, by any chance, have you seen a salty snack of mine around here? Oh, oh, we're looking for these crackers, Bear. Oh, no problem. Uh, I was just using them as uh, uh, bookends. <laughs> That's it. All right. You found something salty. Thank you. This dip is going to be the best ever. <laughs> Pip is looking for me. Don't tell him I'm here. It'll be our secret.
that's our sour fruit. But we need a way to knock it down so we can get it. That's a good idea, but it didn't fall. Oh, that was close. You did it! Yeah, now we have something sour. For Pip and Pop's famous clam dip. You have two bunches of those berries already. make something sweet. There's some batter and some pans. That's the batter. Which cooking pan do you need to put the batter in? Yep, that's the pan Pip and Pop need. Let's bake it! Ready! Great baking! Something sweet for Pip and Pop's famous clam dip. Well, you found something salty, something sweet, and something sour for Pip and Pop. Now it's time to make Pip and Pop's famous clam dip. Come on. Pip and Pop will give you directions on how to make their special dip. First, something sour. That adds power. Oh, what do you think, Pip? Rhymes pretty good. Well, you know, you did what you could. <laughs> I think Pip and Pop asked for something else. Put in a tomato. It's better than a potato. Chili peppers will give it some spice. Yes, sir. Something sweet would be really neat. Put the onion on top. It'll give it some pop <laughs> and pip. Put the salty thing in the bowl. Remember, you found it in Tutter's hole. Cream cheese will make it thick. Oh, I cannot wait to take a lick. Hmm. Okay. Looks like the dip is done. But, Bear, you forgot the most important ingredient, the clams. Whoops, you're right. Add each clam. And our dip will be a grand slam. Now mash it all up with the big fork. Pip and Pop's famous clam dip is done. Let's have them taste it and tell us what they think. Hmm. I like the salty taste, but yeah, I don't like the sweet taste. It's interesting, because you see, I like the sweet taste, but ugh, I do not like the salty taste. Mm. We don't like the sour taste. Oh. Ew. That's too bad. What do you think will make it better? Hmm. Well, the next time that we make Pip and Pop's famous clam dip, we will only put in what we both like. Yeah, when it's done, I'll add something salty to my bowl. And I will add something sweet to mine. Yum! <laughs> wow, Pip and Pop found they have different tastes. You've got taste too. Mm -hmm. Just try new foods and discover a great taste you've never tasted before. Hey! Take a look in here.
This is a book about the fun you had with Pip and Pop. We'll call it Dip Time. Pip and Pop needed ingredients for their clam dip. You baked up a sweet treat to add to the dip. The sour fruit was high in a tree, but you got it down. A crumb trail led to Tutter's mouse hole and a salty snack. Pip and Pop learned not everyone likes to eat the same things. Aha! Oh, you're back! Look what I found. Pie dough for triple berry pie. Mm-hmm. Hey, do you think you could hold on to it? For me? Great! Now let's find the rest of the stuff we need for the pie. You found all the pie ingredients, but we'll also need pie dough, a rolling pin, a mixing bowl, and a pie cutter. Hmm. Maybe someone else in the big blue house knows where they are. Haha! <laughs> we'll build Snowbear's house with hard things and soft things and warm things and all kinds of other things too. Let's go! So, what? Oh, good! Let's go to the living room! <laughs> Look at all the neat things Ojo has collected for Snow Bear's house. Different shapes and sizes and all kinds of textures. Do you know what a texture is? It's what something feels like when you touch it. Think about what all those things would feel like in your hands. So Ojo, what do you need for Snow Bear's house? Huh. All kinds of things, Bear, and I haven't found them all. I need walls, I need a roof, and I need a doormat, too. I have so much stuff to find, and I don't know what to use. Hmm. Well, for the walls, you'll probably want to use something hard. What can we find around the house? Maybe pennies, or shells, or wood sticks. Which would you use? Good choice! Thanks! Now, for the roof. Some folks make roofs out of clay. Some use mud, and some even use tar. What's best? Hey, yeah! That will feel soft and mushy when you first touch it. But then it, when it will dry, it will be good and hard. Now, no house is complete without a doormat. Snow Bear needs something rough. So when she gets visitors, they can scrape their dirt off their feet. How about a nail file, or sandpaper, or a dish pad? Yeah, those are all perfect for Snow Bear's house. Good, Good job. job! You know your textures. Uh-huh. But where do I find all those things? Will you help me? Ooh, you're good at finding things. Where do you think we should start?
That'll hold enough tar for Snow Bear's roof. Let's put it in your basket. There should be sandpaper in there somewhere. But it's so dark, you'll have to feel for it. That's real. that's really squishy. Hmm, hmm, there's something rough. That looks like what we want. All right, you found a doormat. I wonder what's in these jars. They're so dusty. Good idea. That rag can dust the jars. Hmm. That looks like buttons. Rubber bands hold paper together, but those are paper clips. I don't think they'd make a solid wall. That looks like what we want. Oh, that's great. You found something hard to build some walls. Thanks. Don't tell Pip. Ojo loves to cuddle with her soft and furry friend, Snow Bear. I bet you have something special you like to cuddle with. What does it feel like? Ever see a giraffe? His tongue is so long, he can reach his own ears and clean them with it. Do you clean your ears with your tongue? Or do you use a washcloth? I know you use your hands to touch lots of things, but what about touching with your nose or your toes? Try touching things with other parts of your body. How's it feel? A shovel and pail will work just great here. We found the tar. The pail is all filled up. Hey, neat! This will make a really great great roof for Snow Bear's new house. Good going! You found everything Ojo needs. You'll be able to build a really strong house, one that's warm and cozy. Ooh, okay, let's start with the walls. Take some pennies and put them on a wall to make it really hard. Ooh, those walls look really, really strong. Thanks. Now, cover the roof with tar. Oh, look at how strong the house is. Cool. 
Now let's do the furniture. The doormat is rough. That way it picks up dirt on someone's feet and the dirt won't get into the house. Ooh, the little pillow will make a soft bed for Snow Bear. She likes her bed really soft. That silky scarf can be her blanket. She likes things that feel silky. This is Snow Bear's hairbrush. She likes the way it smooths her fur when I brush her. We can use that spool of thread for a table. Ooh, the house is almost perfect. Oh, wait a minute. Just one more thing. The doormat says welcome to all Snow Bear's friends. You did such a great job on Snow Bear's house. It's the bestest house she's ever had. Some houses are made of bricks or logs or even grass. And an Eskimo's house is called an igloo and it's made of ice. Then there's the big blue house. The perfect house for a bear and his friends. Snow Bear's got the best house of all because her house was made by her friends, like you. I can't wait to show it to her. She's going to love it, really. Bye, Bear. Oh, uh, bye, Ojo. <laughs> you had some very good ideas to help Ojo. What kind of place do you live in? Is it made of wood? Or steel? Is it one floor or two? Is it an apartment, a house, or an igloo? <laughs> hey! I have something for you. Here's a storybook about your adventure with Ojo. We'll call it Great Builder. Ojo asked you to help her build Snow Bear's house. Jars in the attic had something hard for the walls. You found something mushy in the otter pond to put on the roof. There was something rough from the bathroom that we used as a doormat. You helped Ojo make a terrific house for Snow Bear. Hmm. Ah, hey, it's you again. Guess what I found? A pie cutter! You know, I bet Ojo was going to use it for Snow Bear's house. Lucky for me, she changed her mind. Hmm. Why don't you hold on to it? Good. Now about that pie. Hmm. Hey, you found everything to make triple berry pie. Now let's go to the kitchen and see what kind of pie maker you are. Okay, ready to follow Bear's special recipe for triple berry pie? Listen carefully. The best thing for flattening pie dough is a rolling pin. Up. The first thing that goes inside the pie pan is the dough. The first thing that goes inside the pie pan is the dough. Mixing the berries with the spice and sweetener gives the triple berry pie its special flavor. Mixing the berries with the spice and sweetener gives the triple berry pie its special flavor. Put all three things in the bowl. Now that the berries and spice are mixed together, they can go into the pie pan on top of the dough. It's called a topping because it goes on top. Add this on top and you'll be done. Wow, what a great looking pie. You did such a good job. And now it's all ready to bake. 
the pie is still hot, so we'll leave it on the basket for it to cool. Then we can call the others. Hey! Before I forget, here's your final storybook. This book tells the story of our adventure together. It's called Triple Berry Bear. You chose three favorite things to add to the triple berry pie. Trilo was using the topping to paint a picture. You found my leftover snack on the balcony and it made the pie sweet. You and Ojo found just the right spice in my window garden. The pie you helped bake smelled delicious. I can't wait to surprise everyone with our delicious pie. Can you? Let's see if the pie is cool enough to eat yet. The pie's gone! Hey, wait a minute. Hmm, I don't see a pie, but I definitely smell it. Huh? Wait a minute. Oh, oh, hi, Bear. Um, mm, really good triple berry pie. Mm -hmm. Hi, Bear. <laughs> mm. Hey, Bear. We were just having... A tiny little taste. Yeah, just a little one. Mm. Hey, Bear. Ha, just eat a small mouse-sized piece. That's all. <laughs> you, you guys, I mean, when did you... You, you ate all the pie? Uh, uh, yeah, Bear. Uh, oh, oh, gee, look at the time. <laughs> Oh well, at least everybody really enjoyed the triple berry pie. Surprise! <laughs> Here we go, Bear. <laughs> we really had your food, didn't we? Yeah, we sure did. <laughs> you didn't really think that we'd eat all of your pie, did you? <laughs> <laughs> you guys really got me that time. Hey, look, here's a piece for you. Dig in. We've had a good time here in the big blue house. You make a wonderful triple berry pie, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah! It was a feast for all five senses, and it looked delicious, too. And I bet if you used your imagination, you could taste how sweet it was, smell its wonderful smell, and feel the crunch in your mouth. Triple berry pie is so good, it makes you want to shout about it. I love triple berry pie! <laughs> Go ahead, say it. Come on, guys. We love triple berry pie! <laughs> yeah. Bye, Bear! Bye, Bear! Later, Later, Bear! Oops, see you, Bear! Bye-bye! <laughs> hey, you can stay longer if you like. There's lots to explore in the big blue house. Everyone's still around to play with. And you can even collect more berries and we'll make another pie. And don't forget, anytime you want to remember the fun you've had, you can open your storybooks. Do you want to leave this game? Click yes or no. Yes. No. Yes. You can leave for now, or visit Luna, or come back into the big blue house for more fun. Visit Luna and hear her sing the goodbye song. Luna, would you sing the goodbye song with us before you go? I would love to, Bear. Hey, this was really fun. We hope you liked it too. Seems like we've just begun when suddenly we're through. Goodbye, goodbye, good friends, goodbye. Cause now it's time to go. But hey, I say, well that's okay. Cause we'll see you very soon, I know. Very soon, I know. Goodbye, goodbye, good friends, goodbye. goodbye. And tomorrow, just by today, the moon, the
the bear and the big blue house We'll be waiting for you to come and play Come and play Come and play Bye now Visit Luna and hear her sing the goodbye song. The credits tell you the names of all the people who helped bring you the big blue house today. Do you want to take a break? Thanks for coming to visit the Big Blue House. Come back again real soon.